checkmate method is a quick and easy way to determine the amount of acid or moisture in both refrigerant and oil. The detector tubes are the heart of the checkmate method. The acid and moisture detector tubes are used to test refrigerant that has to be recovered, recycled, or reclaimed. The acid and moisture tubes will help determine if the gas is clean enough to be reused. The oil detector tubes are used to check for contaminants in a working system. In an operating system, the bulk of all contaminants will be dissolved in the compressor oil, not the refrigerant. About 90% or more of all the acids and moisture are in the oil phase. That is why we test the oil and not the refrigerant to measure system contamination. Use the acid and moisture tubes for testing recover, recycled, or reclaimed gas. Use the Easy Oil Test oil detector tubes for checking working systems in the field. Each tube is made of heavy wall Pyrex glass and the ends are sealed with a rubber stopper. All Checkmate detector tubes are manufactured in an ultra-dry, environmentally controlled, pure nitrogen chamber. This cutaway shows how the rubber stoppers will automatically be pierced by hypodermic needles embedded at each end of the Checkmate body to allow refrigerant or oil to flow through the tube. This sampling method is similar to drawing blood. There is no glass to break, as with other styles of detector tubes, and exposure to air or atmospheric moisture will not occur. The Checkmate body is a precision inline gas sampling device built to endure a lifetime of usage. A short extension hose provides adequate clearance for connection to a cylinder or system. The quarter-inch flare union is used to join the center and high side hose. Configure your hose gauge manifold to use about 9 feet of hose, as shown with the low side port open. Purge the inlet hose and insert the detector tube, blue end toward the blue fitting. Press the tube to pierce the rubber inlet stopper, then screw on the metering cap. We want to pass 500 cc of refrigerant vapor through this moisture detector tube. This is done by looking up the refrigerant on the chart and finding the cutoff or termination pressure for the refrigerant you're testing. We are testing R134A for moisture. 500 cc of vapor will have passed through the tube when the gauge reads 55 pounds pressure. Start refrigerant flow and stop the flow when the low side gauge approaches 55 psi. The tube can now be removed and the color change can be read like a thermometer. Moisture will turn the brown indicating powder to purple. For contrast, we are comparing the tube to a virgin moisture tube. The detector tube scale is graduated in parts per million and has been calibrated using ARI certified gas. This moisture tube reads about 15 parts per million of moisture. A detailed explanation for reading and interpreting all Checkmate results are detailed in the Checkmate manual. According to present ARI standards, the refrigerant should contain no more than one part per million acid and no more than 10 parts per million of moisture. The oil detector tube has two sections, a transfer agent that contains the acid and moisture sensing dyes and a white indicator layer where a color change will take place. Instead of connecting the outlet to a set of gauges, for the oil test we simply screw on a thumb cap. While the system is running, loosen the cap to start a slow bleed of refrigerant. When connected to the suction line of an operating system, a few drops of oil will travel through the transfer agent and register a color change on the indicator. Once oil has hit the indicator, stop refrigerant flow. The tube is removed and the color of the stain is compared to a chart. The chart shows six possible levels of contamination with a description of what each color change means. There is nothing faster, easier, or more reliable than the Checkmate method.
Its accuracy and validity have been verified by ARI testing laboratories and OEMs since 1998.